And tomorrow, three days after Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Texas will observe the state holiday of Confederate Heroes Day. Democrats in the Texas House say it should be the last time they are renewing a push to abolish the holiday. But as KXAN's Ryan Chandler reports, there's reason to believe they might not be successful. Racism is still alive in Texas today, and this holiday proves it. House Democrats say a celebration of Texas's painful past has no place in the present. It's a constant reminder of the supremacy in which they're trying to establish. Houston Democrat Jarvis Johnson recalls his enslaved ancestors in filing legislation to abolish Confederate Heroes Day, especially on a day so close to a celebration of equality. In the next 20 years, if we don't get rid of this holiday, Confederate Heroes Day will fall on Martin Luther King Day four times. How's that make you feel? That difficult dichotomy is not just on the holiday calendar, but on the Capitol grounds. One of the first monuments that these visitors see when they walk towards the Capitol is also one of the biggest, honoring Confederate soldiers and saying that they died fighting for states' rights and against Northern coercion. Just steps away on the same lawn, a celebration of emancipation. Two monuments displaying not just two sets of facts, but two sets of values. Some Texans support a compromise. Make it Civil War Heroes Day. So we try to boil this down to complete 100% black, 100% white, no, no middle ground, no nuance. But these lawmakers argue it is an issue of black and white. So there's no room for compromise. There is nothing to celebrate about the Confederacy, only lessons to learn about how not to treat our neighbors. Ryan Chandler. KXAN News. And bills to abolish the holiday have failed in the House State Affairs Committee for the last two sessions without ever receiving a vote by the full House. The Democrats believe if it does reach the House floor this time, it will pass.